Hey guys, so with fluffy brows being a massive trend, so many of you messaged me for easy tips on natural brows, especially using a brow stencil, because you either lack hair or the ability to see the shape in your own brows. So this is a quick and simple method on how to achieve stencil brows. I'm using some from Anastasia Beverly Hills. They come as a four pack. So then you can either choose one that completely suits your brow shape or you can mix it up and choose a different brow shape if you are going out for the evening and you want a fuller looking eyebrow. Here I'm lining up the different stencils to see which one most mimics my natural eyebrow. Don't be tempted to cut away this little plastic section. It's what keeps the stencil in that shape because they are quite malleable. They're very, very soft, which is great because it means you can maneuver the tail of the brow if you need to. However, you don't want it to completely warp out of shape. Don't worry if you can't fill in your brows over the plastic part. When you take the stencil off, you can just fill that in yourself. This one, as you can see, is a lot bigger than the tail of my eyebrow. So the very front of it, I could possibly use if I wanted to make a fuller looking eyebrow. However, the stencil would be too big on the tail. So I would need to use an alternative tail end of the stencil. So you do have the flexibility to change the stencil depending on your needs. The difference in the stencils isn't just the actual width of the brow, it's also the arch. This one is a medium arch, but you also have a higher arch. These are fabulous if you have very sparse brows or you suffer with alopecia because you can lay down the initial shape very lightly with powder and then you can fill it in with a brow pen to mimic brow hairs. As I do have some hair there, I'm going to use the petite one because this most mimics my natural brow shape. Now the most natural finish that you can really achieve when it comes to filling in your eyebrows is to use a brow powder. This one is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. They really do excel when it comes to brow products and they have duos, which means you can buy a small eyeshadow with two colors in so you can create dimension in your brow. You want to start by lining up your stencil with the base of your eyebrow. Don't worry too much about lining up the tail of the brow first, just make sure the front of your brow is lined up and then take a very light amount of your brow powder and start at the base, lining that and then flicking the colour upwards. Always have a bit more of a stronger base line to your brow rather than the top. Here I'm using what's left on the brush to fill in and I'm pulling the colour down over the stencil onto the skin and although it barely looks like anything's there, that's exactly what we want. So when we remove the stencil, we have a very faint guide for us to fill into. If you go too heavy, it would just look blocky. So you want it to look a lot more sparse on top because that's naturally what our brows are like. They're thinner and lightest at the very top. Before you move on, make sure you brush the powder from the base of your brow upwards just to soften it. And then for any sparse areas along the base, you can fill in free-handed because we have that guide to trace along. In order to frame the shape of our eyebrow, we want to make sure the outer half of the top is slightly darker than the very front. So use a tiny bit more of your brow powder and fill this in. Now we can go back to our stencil and fill in the tail of the eyebrow. You can, of course, do this all in one go, but if, like me, you've already got a base brow to work with, it's likely that you'll need to do the stencil on the tail of the brow separately. So once you're happy with it being lined up, go in with your brow powder and very softly fill in. You can be a little bit more liberal with your brow powder here because the tail of the brow does tend to need a little bit more work. Now don't worry if it's not perfect when you remove it. You can go in with your finger like I'm doing here just to remove a bit of the powder. That's the beauty of working with brow powder is it's a lot softer and a lot more forgiving. And then you can freehand the shape. You can also go in and carve out the shape with concealer if you want something that's more defined, a bit crisper. For me on this occasion, I'm gonna keep it extremely natural because I know loads of you have requested that. So I'm using the warmth from my finger on my foundation, which I haven't set in place, to remove any excess powder. And then I'm going in with my brush just to redefine the arch. But you can see that it really does help to give you a guide to work with if you're using a stencil. At this stage, you can also go in with an eyebrow gel just to finish off your eyebrows. As always, I will list and link the products I've used in the description bar. If you've got any requests for future tutorials, please let me know and I will do my best to create them for you. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel and give the tutorial a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Bye guys.